Betty. I'm out in my garden and today's project is planting potatoes in tires. I've never tried this method but I've read about it, watched a couple videos and I think we're going to try it. So the basic idea is um, so you don't have to dig. The potatoes are grown in the tires and you stack the tires up um, as the potatoes grow and I'll explain that a little bit more later. Um, and then when you're ready to harvest, you simply take the tires off. There's no digging and you're, you can easily get to the potatoes and then um, you can put the dirt back wherever. That's what I plan on doing. And so this is an experiment and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I have started so far. It is helpful if you have old tires on hand, which we do. And that's why I decided to do this project. So I just grabbed um, several of the old tires, rolled them over here, and spaced them out. Hopefully, uh, far enough apart, I think that I can get a weed whacker in there. Um, and then what I've done is I've been filling them up with dirt. I'm on my last one. These are actually my son's motorcycle tires right there. So they're a little bit different tread than the others. But I'm just filling them up with dirt. And I have this one to finish. Let me turn around and face this way. So you can see um, I have four sets. And you can fit um, about four um, starter potatoes in each one. So let me finish filling up the motorcycle tires and then we'll plant some potato spuds. So I have three different kinds of potatoes. I bought these at Sam's Club. And um, so there are Adirondack Blue, I'm going to place in this first one, and there's 10 of the red Norlands. I'm going to do um, four in a tire, and then the Russet Gold Rush, four in a tire, and then the extra tire, I'm not sure, probably the red. And then all the rest I'm going to plant in the ground and we'll just see um, where the potatoes do better in the ground or in the tires. With the Adirondack Blue next to the blueberries, um, I'm going to work some of the Espoma Biotone starter into the soil and then I'll show you what I'm, how I'm going to plant them. Now the problem is it's been raining for the last two days straight and this soil is very, very wet and muddy. But um, it's supposed to start raining again tomorrow and this is the only break I have to get some things planted. So let's do it. All right, so now I'm going to work that into the soil with my digger. Soil was really, really... Um, like hard clay it just wasn't coming apart so i'm just going to add some potting mix in that and really try to work this up so it's a little bit more loamy but i really think it's too saturated to do much good Here are the four adirondack blue and look at how pretty that tuber is coming out already all right so we want to plant these eyes up so let me get them out of the bag and then i'll show you what they look like so as you can see, these already have very long sprouts on them. So what I need to do um, is dig as deep as I can down to ground level and plant them with those sprouts coming up and support them with dirt around them. You don't want to break them off because the potatoes already put that much energy into growing those. Um, so you want to leave those on and just support them in the best you can and plant them pointing up. Okay, so I'm going to dig down as far as I can until I can see the crest that's underneath of it like that. And get a potato with that sprout coming up, place it down in the bottom of the hole, and then gently crumble and pack the soil around it. Whoops, don't go under there. Okay, my soil is so wet from all the rain we've had from the last two days. It just is not crumbly at all. Okay, two done and two more to go. 
Okay, I have three more to go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add um, the Biotone starter. I'm going to add a little bit of potting soil and just try to work these up. And then I'm going to put four potatoes in each one. So I'm going to do that now. Look at these. These are the red. Um, right there, red. These are insane. Look how long those are. Um, these are the gold. They have also sprouted, but not nearly as bad. And I kind of like this. It's my um, elementary school colors. Our school colors are red and yellow. So I think that's how I'm going to go. I'm going to go red, yellow, red on these remaining tires. So this is red um, potato. And there are four, and their tubers are all sticking up. This is the yellow, and I need to get another tire for the top of it, so it's just one high, and this one is the motorcycle tires. Um, the yellow are completely buried, so um, it's good that we don't have another tire for that. We can wait until they poke up through the ground. And here is red again. You can really see those um, sticking up. And these are the blue. And I just love the blue color that they are, those tubers. So here's a look at them. So it goes blue, red, yellow, red. And we'll see how they do. I actually ended up planting um, the rest of the potatoes in a raised bed, um, which I will show you in a second. Um, my granddaughter is taking how to grow a vegetable garden for her 4-H project, and I gave her some of the um, yellow gold rush potatoes to plant in a pot at her house to give it a try and then I planted the rest. got the last of the potatoes planted in this raised bed um, you can't see them but I have um, six in here there's two here and then in the middle there's two and then at the far end corners so I have six of um, the yellow potatoes in here here is my granddaughter's 4-H project book. Um, we're still going to complete the project and she'll um, be growing a lot of vegetables at her house and up here at mine. And hopefully she has a good experiment with the potatoes I gave her. Um, we're going to complete this project even though at this point I'm not sure how they will do project judging day. But we're going to have fun learning how to grow our own vegetables. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you learned a little bit about growing potatoes. I know I am. And I will keep you updated throughout the growing season. Um, the potatoes will be ready in about three months. We'll just keep adding dirt. And when the foliage starts to turn yellow, then we will harvest. So I'll be sure and keep you updated on how these um, experiments go. All right, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.